No doubt one of the best looking physiques in the world right now is Michael B. Jordan's body. Today's episode is what a lot of you have been waiting for. If you'd like to know the diet and workout routine that gets you ripped like Michael B. Jordan, stay tuned. Thank you again for voting for his workout for this week. Make sure to keep a lookout for next week's poll and get your vote in. A special shout out to Daniel Kasabi and Jose Santos for suggesting I cover Michael B. Jordan. Stick around to find out why most trainers consider Michael B. Jordan's super diet inhuman. Before we start this video, I want to say a huge thank you to my subscribers. This channel is a labor of love, and I couldn't be happier to reach this milestone. We got to 5,000 subscribers! If you have a favorite celebrity that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. Thank you very, very much. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for tuning in. Now, back to the video. Just in case you're wondering, although he bears the same name, he's totally unrelated to the basketball legend Michael Jordan. Note that his name is Michael B. Jordan. The B is for Bakari, which is a Swahili word meaning noble promise. Because growing up with the name Michael Jordan... Yeah, you know. Did you... <laughs> Uh, a career in the NBA must have been thought about, maybe, or... You know, maybe once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> Brought once, up ever. Once, once or twice, and well, then dad, I realized well, it was dad was named Michael Jordan my, as well. My dad's name is Michael Jordan, so I'm, I'm a... Well, not a junior, because our middle names are different, but I was his first son, and I was going to get his name no matter what. It just so happened that there was another Michael Jordan out there that was running rampant in the league and, you know, I, became the greatest basketball player to ever lived. So, you know... <laughs> Yeah, but uh, yeah, so it's tough small, to it. Small shadow, just a small shadow. But look yeah. how... The actor and producer was born on February 2nd, 1987 in Santa Ana, California to Donna, a high school guidance counselor, and Michael A. Jordan, a Marine veteran turned caterer. He has a younger sister, Jamila, and a younger brother, Khalid, who signed with Howard University to play football in 2010. Jordan's family lived in California for two years before relocating to Newark, New Jersey. He was a basketball player at Newark Arts High School, where his mother works. At an early age, the parents encouraged Michael to discover his talents, and boy did he ever. He experienced tap dancing before finding an agent and starting a career in modeling. As a child model, he appeared in ads for Toys R Us and Modell Sporting Goods. Yeah, 20 years. I was 12 when I started. Damn, that's crazy. And uh, when people bring that up, it makes me think like I was like a child actor, but it didn't really seem like it at the time. I was just kind of doing it just to do it. and then. One thing about being a, I guess the stigma or the stereotype of being like a child actor or a child star, because they, they're used to seeing people that were like so famous, so young, yeah. and they weren't really old enough, they didn't have the emotional tools to handle that type of stardom, so they kind of cracked, or they kind of, they couldn't really like handle the growth. But for me, it was always like stepping stone and stepping stone, I never got too much too fast. It's like, I'm just now getting to the point where I really feel like, you know, people even know exactly who I am or my name. It's weird. Like, oh, don't you? He looks kind of like Nick Cannon or what? In 1999, the 12-year-old made his acting debut in an episode of the show Cosby. He also played a part of a bully in The Sopranos. Hey, what you doing? Where you spin? What do you mean? I ain't doing nothing. Yes, you did. You threw that rap on the floor. Pick it up. Leave me alone. Two years later, his film debut was through the baseball drama Hardball, starring Keanu Reeves. Not bad for a start, huh? Roles in TV series kept coming after that, including a role in the legendary series The Wire. At first, he auditioned for the role of Bodie, but he ended up landing the pivotal role of Wallace, a member of Bodie's pit crew whose involvement in the drug trade leads to his untimely death. The role put young Michael B. Jordan on the map. I just don't want to play. I just don't want to play no more. All right? I was thinking about going to school over at Edmondson. Asked they'll let me back in at the end of the semester. Michael B. Jordan turned into the megastar he is today thanks to starring in the soft reboot of the Rocky franchise, Creed. And two years later, yeah, you guessed it, Black Panther. For Creed, Michael had to learn boxing in addition to gaining 24 pounds of muscle. And boy, did he do it. Michael got the body of his dreams and since then kept it because, well, why not? It brought him nothing but more fame and more dream roles, plus the 2020 Sexiest Man in the World title. Yeah, really good ones too. <laughs> really, really good friends. Yeah. I know his really good friends. We all know about his really good friends. 
All right, I'm leaving. I'm going. Right. Can you take me with you? <laughs> no, you stay. You stay. Working with the same director, Ryan Coogler, Michael played the role of the ruthless mercenary, Eric Killmonger, who challenged Wakanda's ancient traditions and took the throne from T'Challa by force in the epic and culturally changing masterpiece, Black Panther. We're warriors. The world's going to start over, and this time we're on top. To be honest, what it did and the impact that it made in the community and the world, uh, especially for our culture, uh, our culture. Um, you know, what does it mean? Like, what is, this what representation, is... man, being able to see yourself up, up on screen in a, in a positive way that's not stereotypical. That's, uh, yeah, that's um, a position of power, of royalty, uh, regular family dynamics, uh, having history, having having that culture, that that mythology there was extremely important. Especially Halloween, when I used to, you know, used to see all these memes and you know, you see all these costumes of these little kids, these little boys with, you know, permanent marker, you know, uh, beards, looking like Killmonger, and you see all these little girls dressed up like Dora Milaje with their hair with these ball caps on and stuff like that, it's, and just having that sense of pride of of, uh, of where you come from, your sense of identity, I think, it was is, really it was, was really great. powerful. Yeah, I it do was good. In 2020, Jordan was named one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People in the World. In the same year, he was ranked number 15 on the New York Times list of the 25 greatest actors of the 21st century. The superstar is now in his prime, preparing for his directional debut in Creed 3. This is awesome for all the Rocky and Creed fans out there. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Rocky or Creed movies are. And of course, Michael B. Jordan's fame had to be earned over the years, and it's evidence from his work ethic that he takes on every role with a lot of dedication. He's known to be at his best on screen and off screen. My dad used to tell me all the time, you gotta be serious about something. When I reflect and think about how far I've come, yep. I told myself at a young age that I was gonna like sacrifice. I used to run myself into the ground to like pure exhaustion just because then I would feel like, oh, I deserve it. That's probably why I go so hard in the gym, go so hard in life. Let's do a deeper dive on Michael B. Jordan's mindset when it comes to working out. Physically demanding roles are MB's specialty. Naturally, as the roles differ, the workout plan and diet also change accordingly. This episode will focus on the standard workout routine and diet of Michael B. Jordan, and to be specific, his favorite exercises and meals. When Creed was released, it didn't take an expert to know that a strict diet wasn't enough to produce Adonis' bod. The guys were like, he must have gone through a ruthless training regimen. As for the girls, most of them were just trying to pick up their jaws off the floor. How These guys are here. charming you are, what your okay. dimples look like, okay. like, yes, how you move them like that. Exactly. Did you do that? Did you watch it again? <laughs> I did. You did? No. And um, shout out to Donatella Versace for custom making this outfit for me. And shout out, and shout out to Michael B. Jordan because he's going to be taking it off of me tonight. We got this. You have an amazing night tonight. Me too. Yeah, go eat some Keep good food. I will. Oh, oh yeah. Woo! Yep. Just let me know if this is too much pressure. Okay. All jokes aside, Michael B. Jordan was in fantastic shape even before landing the role of Adonis Creed. That wasn't to say there wasn't room for improvement. Corey Callier, his personal trainer, increased the actor's intake to the point where he was eating up to six meals per day. This was done both in anticipation of the original film and during production, when he kept his ripped physique. The training was pulled from the fundamentals of athletic conditioning, as well as from bodybuilding. Callier said during an interview. This meant following a four-day plan that combined regular cardio and high-quality circuit training to burn fat and tighten muscles. To achieve the best results, each muscle group was also given a high-volume workout. If you want to emulate Michael B. Jordan's physique, you'll need to be willing to go to extremes while also being patient. After all, these kinds of outcomes don't appear out of nowhere. Normally, he starts his routine from the pool. Michael believes that swimming is the best cardio distance it really helps out a lot so I've uh, started to get more into the water and as a warm-up get my body going before I actually get to the real workout so this is a nice little nice little warm-up after warming up he performs all the strength building exercises as straight sets completing every set for one lift before moving on to the next and takes as little rest as possible between each set or exercise except during day four on that day, Jordan completes the first five exercises as a circuit, performing one set of 25 reps for each exercise. 
rests between exercises, and repeats the circuit a total of three times. Also, he exhibits the reps in countdown fashion, 10, 9, 8, and so forth. That means he does 10 reps on the first set, takes a brief rest, and then shred one rep for each subsequent set. He doesn't stop until he has performed the total number of suggested sets. Got it? Okay, let's dive right into it. Michael B. Jordan's workout routine. Monday, chest, back, and arms. One mile jog is a warm up. Incline dumbbell press, three sets, 12 reps. Dumbbell fly, three sets, 12 reps. Push up, 10 sets, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 reps. Dumbbell kickback, three sets, 15 reps. Triceps push down, two sets, 20 reps. Bench dip, 10 sets, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 reps. Tuesday, biceps, triceps, and lats. One mile jog is a warm up. One arm dumbbell row, three sets, 12 reps. Neutral grip pull down, three sets, 12 reps. Bent over row, three sets, 12 reps. Dumbbell curl, alternate arms, three sets, 12 reps. Barbell curl, three sets, 12 reps. Hammer curl, three sets, 12 reps. Wednesday, legs and abs circuit. One mile jog is a warm up. Dumbbell lunge, three sets at 30 seconds per leg. Single leg hip extension, three sets of 15 reps per leg. Leg curl, three sets of 12 reps. Romanian deadlift, three sets of 12 reps. Squat, 10 sets of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 reps. Crunch with Swiss ball, three sets of 25 reps. Leg raise, three sets of 25 reps. Reverse crunch with resistance band, three sets of 25 reps. Toe touch with medicine ball, three sets of 25 reps. Sprinter sit up, three sets of 25 reps. Thursday, rest. Thursday is a rest and recovery day for Michael. He relaxes through meditation. Taking a moment and taking a break, I think is super important. And it's something that I just recently learned to do. You gotta refuel, you gotta rest, you gotta reset. So I think basketball, meditation, you know, breathing. Sometimes I forget to breathe. Friday, chest, arms, and abs. One mile jog is a warm up. Dumbbell bench press, five sets of 10, nine, eight, seven, six reps. Push ups, five sets of 15 reps. Dumbbell fly, five sets of 10, nine, eight, seven, six reps. Push up, five sets of 10 reps. Dumbbell curl, four sets of 12 reps. Dumbbell kickback, four sets of 15 reps. Bench dip, four sets of 20 reps. Crunch with Swiss ball, three sets of 25 reps. Leg raise, three sets, 25 reps. Reverse crunch with resistance band, three sets, 25 reps. Toe touch with medicine ball, three sets, 25 reps. Sprinter sit up, 25 reps. For shoulders like Adonis, here's a specific shoulder and chest workout made especially to prepare for the Creed movies. Shoulders and chest workout. Incline Smith bench press. Four sets of reps in the following order. 15, 12, 12, 10. Standing cable fly. Three sets of reps in the following order. 15, 12, 10. Supersets. Incline dumbbell press. Three sets of reps in the following order. 15, 12, 10. Incline dumbbell fly. Three sets of reps in the following order. 15, 12, 10. Standing barbell shoulder press. Four sets of reps in the following order. 20, 12, 12, 8. Seated dumbbell lateral raises. Three sets of reps in the following order. 15, 15, 12. Bent over dumbbell fly. Three sets of reps in the following order. 15, 15, 12. Smith machine single arm shoulder press. Three sets of reps in the following order. 15, 12, 10. 
Michael likes to end all of his workout sessions, if possible, doing meditation. After a really, really tough workout, I, you know, just cooling down and, and resting your mind, I think is extremely important. You know, I really like to end my workout with meditation. Even before landing the role of Adonis Creed, Michael B. Jordan was in fantastic shape. That's not to say there weren't areas where things could have been done better. Corey Callier, the actor's personal trainer, increased the actor's diet to make his appearance look incredible for the film. Michael B. Jordan, as you might expect, keeps things disciplined in the kitchen. Without further ado, let's get into his diet regimen. Michael B. Jordan's Diet Corey Callier, his personal trainer, increased his intake to the point where he was eating up to six meals per day. This was done both in anticipation of the original film and during production, when he kept his ripped physique. I would literally be eating food in the middle of takes, Jordan said in a 2015 interview. Chicken and rice and broccoli, a lot of it. In the actor's diet, chicken and other lean proteins would be particularly important. He was also eating whole grains to aid digestion and fresh vegetables for essential nutrients. The goal, as expected, was to gain muscle while maintaining optimal digestive and nutritional health. Michael B. Jordan's diet consists primarily of lean protein, leafy green vegetables, healthy fats, and whole grains. Jordan supplemented with the pre-workout and recovery supplement in addition to protein shakes. Here's an example of what B would eat in a day. Breakfast, six egg whites, one whole egg, oats. Snack number one, protein shake, rice. Snack number two, chicken, rice, sweet potato, one cup green veggie. Lunch, ground turkey or fish, rice, red potato. Snack number three, protein shake, steel cut oats. Dinner, chicken, ground turkey, one cup green veggie, one teaspoon oil, olive oil. Before you scoff at Jordan's meal plan's general blandness, keep in mind that he was allowed one cheat day per week. That's when he most likely devoured local Philly cheesesteaks. I don't know if a person has ever eaten as many cheesesteaks as I saw Mike eat, Callier says. Michael started his own production company in order to be able to play the roles he really loves. That is not to say that he hasn't already played roles he loved and enjoyed throughout the course of his career. The outspoken anime fan wore a blue costume that resembles the famous Vegeta armor from Dragon Ball Z. Any anime fans here? He also loved being a part of the Marvel Universe since he's a big superhero fan too. Are you a Marvel or DC fan? Let me know in the comments below. I mean, I always liked like Batman, you know what I'm saying? But, see, yeah. Batman might have been the best one. The best DC. one, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? He was like, for me, he was just the smartest. He was always like, a, like ahead of everybody else. He mm -hmm. had ways to kill everybody just in case they started tripping. I always thought that was like super dope. But Marvel was always like top notch. Yeah, but they were jumping out the window online saying Batman can beat Thanos. That ain't happening. No, never. No, no, no. He's not that smart. Mm -mm. <laughs> it wasn't gonna happen. Mm -mm. Nah. So I've always been a big comic book guy growing up, but so playing Killmonger was like a no-brainer for sure. And it was my first time playing a villain. Michael B. Jordan is an icon because he inspires young people all over the world. He's proof that you can have it all at a young age and keep rising, physically and mentally, instead of just falling like many unfortunately have. You know, having a name like that, that gave me a healthy chip growing up. How do you push past the not wanting to do something? You remember why you're doing it, why you're working hard, what's at stake. For me, it's, you know, my family. All the dreams that I have in my head that I want to, you know, see manifest. I want to leave a mark on this world. I want to do things that that's going to last longer than my physical body will. As always, thank you for watching this episode. If you want to see how celebrities get in shape, let me know in the comments below. A special shout out to Daniel Kasabi and Jose Santos for suggesting I cover Michael B. Jordan in this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe to this video and channel, since that'll help us make more content like this for you to enjoy.